A legendary mint error, 1943 Lincoln cent struck on a copper planchette. The 1943 bronze cent is highly sought after coin in the world of numismatics. It is an error coin that was accidentally struck in bronze instead of intended zinc coated steel due to a mix up at the US mint during World War II. The US mint was conserving a copper for military use, so they switched to using steel for cent production in 1943. However, a small number of bronze planchettes were mistakenly used, resulting in a limited quantity of bronze sands being minted. PCGS assigned genuine designation, but did not assign a grade for this one. But according to heritage auctions experts, this is likely in very fine condition. Scratches are present above Liberty, near T in cent, and beneath IBU in pluribus. But the most noticeable mark is the deep horizontal scratch from Lincoln's cheek to the back of his head. These marks were undoubtedly made by an incredulous finder expecting to uncover the steel interior, usual for the 1943 cent. The golden brown surfaces also have a trivial rimnik at 230 on each side. It was sold for $88,125 in 2013 at Heritage Auctions. This is 1945 Vulcan Liberty Half Dollar in MS68 condition, struck during the final year of World War II. The 1945 is the last of high mintage half dollar issues in the Vulcan Liberty short set of 1941 to 1947. The 31.5 million piece issue has provided an abundance of mint state coins, and even more selective numismatists should be able to procure an attractive MS67 with a modicum of patience. This issue is a noteworthy rarity in PCGS, while in MS68 they are almost unheard of. This particular specimen is one of three finest reported by PCGS. It is a fully struck coin with outstanding satin to softly frosted luster. It was sold for $66,000 at Stax Powers auction. Here is 1922 No D Lincoln Sand with strong reverse, Die Pair 2, a remarkably vivid and well preserved example of this eagerly sought Lincoln Sand variety. Both sides retain plenty of bold reddish orange mint color that blends nicely with warm toning in sandy brown, pale gold, and flint gray. Glints of salmon pink iridescence are also evident in isolated areas as a coin dips into a light. Typically, sharp striking detail on reverse combines with uncommonly bold definitions throughout the verse. Free of troublesome blemishes and solidly in the choice mean state category, this is a fantastic condition rarity for the 1922 No Descent. It fetched a sum of $24,000 at Stax Powers auction. This is 1961 D. Roosevelt Dam in MS67 plus condition with full bands, amazing quality rated at this lofty level. A dash of lemon gold on portions of the rim, otherwise brilliant, white and lustrous. Incredible field quality with virtually no signs of bag handling, beyond a couple of shallow traces on the uppermost devices. It was sold for $5,287.50 at Stax Bowers auction. And this is an error penny, 1935 wheat cent struck multiple times, graded as AU50 brown by NGC. Main impression of a verse is satisfactory, therefore, letterings and date are complete and readable, though some letters of In God We Trust are weakly struck. On the reverse, we witness remnants of E Pluribus Unum from earlier strike. Both sides display strong dark patination. This error penny was sold for $180 at Heritage Auctions. Thanks for watching guys, if you liked the video don't hesitate to smash thumbs up and subscribe buttons. Have a wonderful